Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technique and uh, today we'll have a quick look at uh, the new Outlook app uh, which has been uh, released for Android and iOS by Microsoft. So the new Outlook app is uh, totally different from the Outlook.com app which was supported only for Outlook.com account. So this new email uh, app supports almost all uh, email services including Gmail, uh, Outlook, uh, then you have support for Yahoo, iCloud, uh, Exchange Server and a lot more. So this is the new universal uh, email client available for Android and iOS. So this is supported on um, Android 4.0 that is ice cream sandwich and above devices. So almost all devices are covered and it supports uh, iOS 8 um, plus. So it will be compatible with uh, uh, iPad, um, iPhones, uh, Android phones and tablets. So almost every, every other iOS and Android device is covered. So let's quickly have a look at uh, this app. So this is basically an uh, um, repackaged email client which is already available and this company was bought by Microsoft uh, a couple of months back. So uh, this is not a new package entirely but probably Microsoft will be adding new features to this app uh, going forward. So let's quickly have a look at uh, the app. So we have installed the app so you can see here um, this is the Outlook app uh, mobile email uh, just got promotion. So you can see some of the features of this uh, new app uh, in the introduction. So this is focused inbox. We have uh, two folders and you have the full calendar support. Easy attachments. Uh, that's one main feature. You can attach, uh, um, you can add attachments from Dropbox or SkyDrive. Uh, then there is an option to search emails uh, with just a couple of tabs. Uh, so that's again useful. So let's get started. So you can see here uh, lots of options are supported exchange outlook.com google icloud yahoo or you can even configure other uh, imap accounts so that's the uh, support available and in the files you can configure onedrive and uh, dropbox so again um, uh, pretty m the two popular um, uh, cloud service service is included so let's go ahead and uh, configure a google account here so let's click uh, google so now we'll ask uh, you the Gmail login. So let's um, just now log in to Gmail. So we have the uh, typical Gmail login. So let's get um, just uh, log in to our Gmail account. So now we have completed the login process and you need to give permission for this uh, email uh, app to access your Gmail account. So let's click uh, accept. Now it will just configure your email account. So we have just configured our email app uh, with our email account and you can see here uh, there are two folders available one is a focus and uh, the other folder the other folder will have all the uh, common emails like the subscriptions and other stuff uh, the focused one will have uh, your primary emails which needs your attention and the important ones uh, just like what we have on the gmail app uh, if you go to the other you have the all the other folders so let's just open a mail and see how it comes so we have just opened an email and you can see the options here so you can reply it from here or you can have to uh, you can uh, move one email to the focus inbox from here in case you feel uh, an email has gone into the other folder you can move it from here you can move to the focus inbox we can uh, mark as flagged or remove this uh, mark as unread and you also have the unsubscribe option. So this is very important uh, and useful for newsletters so you can quickly unsubscribe from here so using this icon you can move the f uh, email to the trash and you can archive uh, the the email using this button so at the bottom you have uh, these options uh, to reply forward and uh, reply to all the options so at the the user interface looks really cool uh, it's it's bluish uh, shade uh, similar to the outlook.com account so the interface uh, really looks cool now here we have the, all the inbox stuff so you can see here inbox draft uh, all the folders we have the calendar option so if you click calendar it'll open up the calendar and you can see the task you can see the files uh, so these are the files available um, uh, in your uh, email account you can add uh, uh, other other cloud services like uh, dropbox and onedrive and uh, finally the people so these are the uh, the contacts basically so all in all uh, we feel this is really good uh, email app uh, it's uh, it has it does have uh, almost all features then you have the quick uh, filter option you can see here unread uh, flagged and files so you can sort uh, or rather uh, quickly access these files now we have some gestures here so you can see here if i swipe from um, uh, left to right that means left to right you can see it can, you can schedule an email then if you swipe from uh, right to left you can archive the message and uh, so you can see here there are two options um, we'll just uh, show you one more time 
So if you swipe from here, you can see this is the archive option. And if you go beyond a certain limit, you can see this is the delete option. So both these are combined together. You can see this is uh, right now, um, this is deleted. So since we went towards the end, so now this is uh, archive. So that is archive. So you can again uh, archive this. We'll just delete one. For deletion, you have to go towards the end and then uh, release the email that will be deleted. And if you swipe from here, uh, you can schedule the uh, message so you can see here schedule this message in few hours this evening tomorrow choose a time and cancel so that scheduled email message will uh, come uh, uh, at the specified time so that's uh, scheduling the e message so this is pretty simple if you just swipe from right side to left side it will go archive and if you go to the edge uh, you can see it's delete option so these are the two options you can undo the delete quickly once you have done that uh, this will be obviously available in the trash as well. So that's the options available in the, the Outlook uh, for Android and iOS. So all in all, this is a really feature rich uh, uh, email app and it does have a pretty good interface as well. So it's well arranged and looks really cool as well. You can configure multiple accounts uh, here. Uh, you can go to settings and you can see here right now we have uh, um, added one account you can see add account option here so you can add multiple accounts again you can add um, outlook uh, the hotmail account uh, you, that's live id then you can add uh, icloud yahoo exchange server almost all options included so this is pretty feature rich app and uh, looks pretty good as well you can also customize the signature so you can see here there is a signature you can customize signature per account or for all accounts uh, that's uh, that's option then um, default email app uh, that's what available here then you can enable or disable focus inbox as well so focus inbox as we said before will arrange uh, the emails for you based on how important it is so in case you don't want a focused inbox you can just disable it from here and it will not be available here so these are the options available in outlook for android so similarly the interface uh, is almost similar in the ios as well so we're not covering the ios right now so this is almost similar the features are almost similar in android and ios so that's the new outlook for android and it looks pretty good and this is one of the best email apps we have tried right now and uh, it's pretty fast as well it's really fluid and uh, the interface looks really good so you can download it free of course from the android play store as well as the ios 2 for ipad as well as the iphones so that's all guys hope you like this video if you have any questions on this video just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos and thanks for watching this video